Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vladislav Artemiev and Denis Pershin. This is a game from the Russian Team Championship 2019. Vladislav Artemiev had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening. e5, knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, knight to c6, e4. Going for the Botvinnik variation, black to move, bishop to b4, the most played move by black, d3, the standard move, black to move, d6 is the most played move in this position, Pershing captured on c3, damaging the pawn structure, check, how to recapture, just kidding, b takes on c3, d6, g3, the standard move, Black to move, perhaps castling kingside was expected. H6, bishop to g2, bishop to e6, Artemiev castled kingside, queen to d7, knight to h4, black to move. Black, then the castle kingside, he castled the queenside. Very ambitious and interesting move intending bishop to h3 to exchange the light squared bishops and to attack the castled white king queen to a4 bishop to h3 white to move how would you continue artemir played this very clever move knight to f5 bishop takes on g2 let's take it back if bishop takes on f5 pawn takes on f5 and if now queen takes on f5, white can immediately take on c6 or play rook to b1. Now let's say queen takes on d3. This is not the strongest move, but this will give you an idea what is going on. Then white can take on b7. And after king takes on b7, check, king to c8, queen to a6, check, king to b8, queen to b7, check, mate. Back to our game. So winning pawns is not a good idea, is it? Bishop takes on g2 was played. King takes on g2. Knight to h5. If g6, the knight goes to e3. Knight to h5. Rook to b1. Rook from d to e8. White to move. f3 was played. If something like bishop to d2, then g6. And after knight to e3, Black can sacrifice the knight on f4. Check. The pawn takes on f4. Pawn takes on f4. If knight goes to d5, queen to g4. Check. King to h1, queen to f3. Check. And black has a draw by perpetual. Back to our game. f3 was played. g6, knight to e3. f5, knight to d5. f4, g4. Attacking the knight, knight to g7, white to move. How would you continue? I think knight to f6 is asking to be played, isn't it? This is the move played in the game. Queen to b5 seems like a good idea too. And if b6, then a knight to f6. Even stronger, isn't it? Back to our game. Knight to f6. Queen to e7, knight takes on e8, knight takes on e8, d4. If queen to b5, black can play knight to d8. d4, h5, intending to open the h file. How would you continue? Artemio played g5, giving up the pawn to keep the file closed. Queen takes on g5, check. King to h1. And the white king is quite safe on h1. a6 preventing queen to b5. White to move. And the white dark squared bishop was screaming, pick me, pick me, pick me. Bishop to a3. Queen to h4, intending to push the pawn on g-file as far as it can go. c5. d takes on c5. Bishop takes on c5. Queen to h3. Queen to b3, threatening to take on b7, b6. 
defending and attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? Is it a3 or some other square? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move. White. Did you pause? What did you find? Artemio played bishop takes on b6, sacrificing the bishop for two pawns plus the attack on the black king. c takes on b6. Queen takes on b6. King to d7. Hoping to escape. White played a move and black resigned and the move is d takes on e5, opening. The d-file is deadly. Persian resigned. One of the threats is queen to b7 check, winning the knight. If queen comes back to help, then the queen to b7 check anyway. And after king to d8, rook from f to d1 check. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.